Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of May 18th through the 24th. We are just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind, not every reading is for you, okay? This reading may or may not be for you. Um, and the timing is still fluid. We're going to get an overall energy with this deck, and then we're going to use this deck right here for the week ahead. So, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, please bring me a message for Capricorn for the week of May 18th through the 24th. What do we have for Capricorn? What can they expect? This is an overall energy, please. Ooh, I don't know. You could be dealing with a Leo. Well, I'm not sure. But the strength card reverse is a need to restrain yourself. You may not be believing in yourself or you're dealing with an individual that uh, they may enjoy the control over you. Somebody may be trying to control you. You could be dealing with a very controlling individual with the strength card reverse. It doesn't have to be, but this is a lack of... Um, Control, unable to master emotions, whether it's you or them. Um, now, this is when you get the strength card reversed. There's there's a low self esteem, low self confidence, uh, feeling inadequate. Don't believe in yourself. There could be a you. And now, this doesn't have to be you. You could be dealing with somebody that lacks respect. This person may lack respect for you. Okay, this could be a Leo. Doesn't have to be. It could be anybody. Uh, but this is somebody who is very controlling, okay? Whether it's you or the other person, um, doesn't like to lose control, all right? Very, very, very controlling energy here, wanting control. So whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, there's probably some power struggles, okay? Um, wow, 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 wow. Uh, this person doesn't like to lose Two of Swords reversed. This person um, may be very manipulative, whether it's you or them. Um, Monday. Tuesday. Now, this is also weak. Um, needing self-esteem. Now, the strength reverse is also uh, refusing to let go or choosing not to let go of something. You may, now, they may, somebody may not want to let go of you. And, the, you know, they like the power and the control that they have over you. So, you know, they keep on playing with you. Something's going on here. Somebody likes the control that they have over you. I know that's what this is because I feel it very strongly. Anyway, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, Wednesday, you're going to have to find your strength to say no and to take your power away from this person. Do not let this person take your power. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday, please. Whoops, that was up right. And Sunday. One more card. Oh, looks like we're going to get two. Hmm. Okay. So I think this week is probably focused around finding your strength, finding your confidence, knowing your value, knowing your worth with the strength card reversed. I feel like you're dealing with an individual who likes the control, like I said. They, they, they see you as weak. They may see you as naive. Um, this person may be depressed. They may have... Um, issues with themselves and they need a boost they need an ego boost you're dealing that's what i feel like you're dealing with you're dealing with somebody who needs an ego boost they want to keep the control over you so they're going to cause some havoc by the looks of things anyway monday two of swords reverse with the eight of pentacles now this is putting in effort seeing the truth working you're probably going to be working really hard you're building something or you're working on your stability or your 
putting in a lot of effort to prove yourself perhaps on Monday. The two of swords reversed is uh, being emotionally guarded though, feeling, um, maybe you're feeling distraught, maybe you're being torn between two different things and you're having a hard time finding balance. I think you're really focused on your work, you're focused on getting things done, but there's some sort of indecision here. You obviously have two choices because of the two of swords, that's about choices, you have two options. And I feel like you may be feeling overwhelmed, okay? You may be feeling overwhelmed. This is overwhelming fears, maybe you're afraid of your money, you're afraid of not having enough money or having stability or finding a job or something like that. So I, uh, maybe there's a money situation playing out on Monday where you're really worried about your money. Um, but I feel like you're a hard worker and you will persevere. I think you have a lot of skills. So I wouldn't give up on whatever you're doing. I think that you are, you're probably more respected than you think or you have a lot more skills than you than you realize or something like that. Um, your hard work is definitely gonna pay off. Um, you may be, you may be, there may have been, there may be some delay in receiving money or, you know, things that have been going really slow, but things are about to open up and change for you. I think Monday is a day of putting in effort and and uh, proving your value, working hard, um, and stepping outside of your safety zone, perhaps, with that Two of Swords reversed. You may, uh, you know, Two of Swords reversed, I think there's a feeling of being overwhelmed. Overwhelmed at your work, or overwhelmed at your job, or overwhelmed with the feeling of needing to prove yourself, you know, at your job. Definitely, I think there's overwhelming fears of not having enough money or something like that on Monday. You may be fearful of that. You're in some sort of mental turmoil. Um, anxious, perhaps, on Monday over over not having a job or the job that you're in or not having enough money or the financial situation. So, so yeah, it's a feeling of being overwhelmed, but I think it's needless because you have a lot of skills. So, anyway... Tuesday, three of pentacles, working together with somebody, uh, moving into a better place, getting to a better place. Yeah, there's been, there's been some sort of isolation or there's been some sort of stagnation. There's been a delay. There has. But I think you are starting to get to that better place. I think there's teamwork, there's togetherness, there's communication, there's appreciation, there's compromise. There's learning new things, doing things you haven't done before, um, just really leaving a troublesome situation behind. Um, yeah, I think that you've you've been really really worried about your money, and I think that you, you don't you, things are about to get better. And I think on Tuesday your your sixes are about taking the steps. Okay, you are getting your life back on track. Okay. Yeah, you still have a ways to go, but you're making the right moves. Okay. So I see you working together with somebody that can probably teach you something or help you to get in a new direct, go to a better place, get to a better place. So this is working with somebody on Tuesday that has some sort of expertise. Okay. This person can help you. They can help you. They can teach you. They can guide you. So on Tuesday, you're going to be working with somebody quite well, by the way. It's going to be harmonious. It's leaving some trouble behind, getting to the better place, and working together on Tuesday. On Wednesday, Wednesday's the 20th. So this is why, 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 why is this happening? Feeling hopeless, maybe depressed with the star reverse. This is where fear takes over and you have no faith, okay? This is a loss of will or feeling ashamed or why is this happening? This is a test of faith. You, this is somebody that lacks spirituality, that doesn't believe, and there's there's moping, there's crying, there's sadness, there's grieving, you know. So somebody, you know, I'm not sure if it's this person up here, if it's somebody that you're dealing with uh, that is depressed, because I feel like depression. They, you may have somebody that um, doesn't want you to move on, or um, is sad. Now, this Five of Cups is typically a separation and loss. Why is this happening? So somebody may be saying that to me. Why? Why? They may be asking you why. Why? 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 
I need to get another card by the looks of things, but that is why. Why why is this happening? Um, now, I don't know if there's an illness here because we have a, we, somebody could be sick or something like that. I'm not trying to scare anybody. Um, there's some sort of sorrow. Somebody that is focusing on the past. There's some regrets here. We have on Wednesday. You have, you're going to be dealing. There's some regrets. I got another card. Ah, the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is a higher power. God. I need to listen to your gut. Mm. Could be dealing with a Taurus or an Aquarius or a Leo. This has something to do with a commitment of some sort. But he's pointing up to the heavens. Listen. Listen. There's another opportunity for you. Are you listening? Are you listening? So, you know, I feel like... I feel like there, I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus or an Aquarius or a Leo, but it's like there's a higher power saying, are you listening to your gut? It feels like there's, there's no renewal here. This isn't something isn't meant to be. And you need to listen. You need to listen. You need to, you know, I think there, there's deep sorrow over a loss, you know, and there's sadness and, and guilt perhaps. You, you could have somebody that comes in trying to make you feel guilty. Somebody's try, somebody tries to make you feel guilty on Wednesday, you know? Um, what the hell is going on here? Wednesday is a day of, you know, needing to be really be disciplined, okay? Your faith is, this is a test, this is a test of faith and this is about faith. Your fa somebody from the past is going to, um poke you on Wednesday. They're really going to poke you. They're they're going to test your faith. They're going to test your strength. They're going to test your willpower. They're going to test your self-value and your self-worth. So Wednesday Wednesday you are going to be tested. There's a higher this is a test of your 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 truth, okay? It's a test of your yourself. Okay, you're going to be tested on Wednesday by somebody. Listen to your gut. This is you have another opportunity here, a good opportunity, but it feels like there's somebody from your your past. I don't know who this person is that is going to and it could be a friend, it could be a family member, I don't know who it is. They're gonna test your will, put it that way. They're gonna test your will and your self value, your self value, your self worth. I don't I don't know who this person is, but whoever it is, that this is a test. It's a test from God. It is. It's a test from God. It's gonna. It, it is. Are you gonna pass the test? Or are you gonna fail your test? Do you know your value? Do you know your worth? Have you grown? Have you evolved? Or you do you need to repeat some sort of lesson? I don't know what is going on here, but you are definitely gonna be tested on Wednesday by an individual who is probably gonna try to make you feel guilty. Thursday. I think it's a Taurus, Aquarius, or a Leo. On Thursday, it's saying goodbye, walking away. This is this is too much. I don't want to be a part of this. You have other options. Okay, so on Tuesday, this is saying goodbye. Did I say Tuesday? I meant to say Thursday. So I think that, you know, you're trying to find balance. You've had a lot of ups and downs. You've been juggling. You've been going back and forth, but you're just ready to leave all that shit behind. You are. I feel like Thursday is a day of not is letting something go. It is. You know, these ships are sailing on by and this individual is just like, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah, this is a big change, but I'm fine with it. It may be a little much, but I'm good with it. So Thursday is letting the ship sail. It's letting it go. It's like choosing not to get on board. So Thursday, you're, you're like, nope, nope, I don't want it. Now we only got four cups here. Four of cups is, I'm not interested. Thursday, it's saying, sorry, I'm not interested. I've changed. I'm not interested. So Thursday, it's like, no, nope, 
Nope. Friday, Nine of Cups with the High Priestess reversed. So this is, I, I'm good, I have it all. We have an individual here that is going to be very happy, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, feeling like they are on cloud nine, they have it all, this is great, this is exactly what I wanted, this is a dream come true. It's the chosen one, you know, extremely happy, extremely abundant, I have everything I need, very comfortable, um, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful on Friday. Feeling very, very good. Now the High Priestess reversed is the truth coming out, secret being revealed. That is going to make somebody really happy. We have an individual here that is going to be very happy on Friday. Now the High Priestess is in reversed is somebody that... Probably doesn't have a lot of female friends. Typically chooses to be single. Maybe doesn't want to have any children or has fertility issues. You know, it could be somebody that's not very feminine, but is, can go both ways. You know, has a feminine side, but, but a masculine side. So, it's like choosing to be single, happy on my own. Somebody could be choosing to be single or to wait for the right one. There's obviously many options here. So, walking away, the Eight of Cups into the Nine of Cups into complete happiness. So, Friday, it's like walk, leaving something emotionally disappointing behind. And on Friday, being con really content and happy with your decision. You know, accepting the truth, knowing the truth. I need another card. The Wheel of Fortune. Accepting the loss. But there's going to be somebody that is upset. You have somebody that is, you have one person that's going to be very happy with your, and maybe it's you that's very happy with your decision. But there's another person here that's going to be very upset when they, when they hear that you don't want to go back or you don't want to go, you don't want to be a part of this. You don't want to repeat the same mistakes over and over and over again. I feel like Friday is a day of sticking your foot, you know, sticking your foot in the in the wheel and saying and stopping it and saying nope, nope, because it's like with the high priestess reverse, it's like speaking up, saying the truth. Okay, now this is a horrendous loss for one person with the wheel of fortune reversed. There's a setback. On, on Friday, something's not working out with an individual that is very, um, I feel like you, you, have, you have a couple options here. You have a very forceful individual that is maybe trying to force their way back into your life with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. It's like something coming back. Somebody, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, yeah, somebody from your past. This person is not very spiritual. They're, whoever this person is, they're not spiritual at all. And this would be you repeating the same pattern over and over and over again. Do not. So whatever you're doing this week, this week has to do with somebody from your past and, you, and your, your self-confidence, your self-worth, your self-discipline. Okay, your self-esteem. Um, Interesting. So this is a week of working with somebody else and the person from the past or whoever this person is that maybe it's a friend. I'm not sure who this person is, but I, it could be a lover, somebody or an ex or a, um, somebody that you were married to or committed to or, you know, you were with at some point, some sort of something. Because there's pain here, there's hurt, there's grieving over a loss. And this is a horrendous loss for somebody. It is. It's a big, huge loss. This is stepping back. It's like stepping back in time. It's like somebody wants to come back, but this person isn't very spiritual. They aren't awakened. They keep secrets. They don't have a lot of friends. People don't trust them. And they don't like your choice. They don't, they don't like that you are not working with them anymore, that you're choosing to let them go. So they're going to put in extra effort. And that's what's going on here. Anyway, Saturday, Queen of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Now it's funny, 8, 9, 10. 
and you saw how I shuffled. So there's some sort of faded change. Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, right in order, which is interesting with the days. So I think that you are making a decision about a relationship on Saturday. You're in, and this decision is, is it. It's like, this is a firm decision. Okay. So you are, your decision is made in regards to who you want to be in a relationship or who you don't want to be in a relationship. This is a very protective energy. This is the truth, speaking the truth. Okay, somebody is going to be speaking the truth about about their relationship, about you know their future, about what makes them happy on Saturday. The truth is going to come out. It may be very harsh with the Queen of Swords. She delivers the harsh, cold truth as a matter of fact. Okay, um, I got a sneeze coming. <coughs> Excuse me. So, this is a very intense day on Saturday, okay? We have a very wise, independent individual who is taking care of themselves, and they won't settle for anything less than extreme happiness. So, I think on Saturday, there's going to be some, some sort of words that are said about, you know, what relationships should be, should and shouldn't be, or who they're in a relationship. It's talking about, you know... A real relationship on Saturday so you could be dealing with a Libra Gemini Aquarius doesn't have to be but this is somebody who's who speaks up has seen something from a new perspective and they've seen something from a new perspective because of independence independence has um, basically shown them what a relationship should be so it's interesting. So Saturday, I think there's going to be some sort of words that are said in regards to uh, happiness, in regards to a relationship, in regards to what the truth is. You know, there is definitely, this is a week of conversation with somebody from your past and saying, you know, it's too late. That's what this is about. So Sunday, not starting over, no fresh start. I know my value, it's huge, 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 huge. This person, who you, may, you could be dealing with somebody who's offering you something huge. They have something big to offer, but perhaps they only gave you crumbs in the past or they didn't give you anything because they were giving to somebody else. So this is not starting over, not taking being taken advantage of um, on Sunday. It's like, you know... This is, this is, uh, this would be stupid. It would be foolish. Okay, it would be foolish. Somebody made a poor judgment call. Yeah, this may have been a big opportunity in the past, but now it's like, I want more. It feels like somebody is trying to give you something that they didn't give you in the past. They gave you crumbs in the path. Past. Now they want. Now they want to give you something big, but that would be a foolish mistake. So I feel like on Sunday you're going to be offered something. You're going to be offered something big from this individual who uh, took advantage of you in the past. They're really going to put in a lot of effort. They are. They're going to. They're going to. Admit. But the thing is, is in the past they were giving to somebody else, but now they want to give to you, and I think it's because they lost you. So that's what we have. Sunday is a day of receiving. You know, big time, this person really wants to give you something, but that would be foolish if you take it. Good luck.